As per the Xbox support page, error code 0x80073D0F may come while launching any game or app on the Xbox console, and the error mainly comes because of a required pending update. Our first advice for you will be to restart your gaming console and then check if there are any pending updates. First we will advise you to check if your Xbox console needs to be updated, if so then consider updating your Xbox console and then check for the error again. In case there are no pending updates for your Xbox console then check for any pending updates for the app or the game which you are trying to access, and if you find any needed update then install the update right away, then check for the error again. If everything is up to date but the error is continuing then, our next advice for you will be to check your disk space, and if there is not much free space, then our advice will be to free some space by uninstalling some of the unused games and apps. Once done restart your gaming console and check for the error again. If the error still persists, then you can try factory resetting your Xbox console. Many users online have shared that at last they were forced to factory reset their console in order to fix the error. Tap the Xbox button from the controller to access the guide. Then choose Profile and System, then choose Settings, then choose System, then choose Console Info, then choose Reset Console. Then on the Reset Your Console choose the option that reads Reset and Keep My Games and Apps. Now wait till your Xbox console finishes the factory reset process, then check if the error still comes or not. Lastly, if nothing above helps with the error, and you're getting the error while launching any app or game, then you can try uninstalling that game slash app, and then reinstall it after restarting your Xbox console. In this part of the video let's quickly recap what we've covered so far. We've discussed various methods to fix the Xbox error code 0x80073D0F. We started by restarting your console and checking for any pending updates. We then moved on to checking your disk space to ensure there's enough room for your games and apps to operate smoothly. If the problem persisted, we suggested performing a factory reset on your Xbox console. And finally, we recommended uninstalling and reinstalling the problematic game or app. Remember, it's always best to start with the simplest solutions before moving on to more drastic measures. If none of the above methods work, it might be time to reach out to Xbox support or visit the Xbox forums online for additional help. Always make sure to check if there are any known issues with the specific game or app you're trying to launch. Often the developers will post updates or solutions to common problems on their official website or social media channels. If you like this information, don't forget to subscribe, it will be a great support. And for more tech updates visit queries.com.